Betty and I are in fact tackling our first ever Victorian high country trip and seeing some great spots, awesome must see locations. The historic McKillop's Bridge, hey? Bloody beautiful. Hey Liv, you got a copy? I've got a copy, mate. We are officially on Billy Goat. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a pretty sick feeling when you get to pack up your car and come down and do stuff like this. Night wheeling <laughs> in the big high country. This is wild. goes nothing. G'day and good morning guys and welcome back to This Is Living. Now I know it's been a hot minute, I've been pretty slack with the YouTube this year but I am so excited for this episode and to share it with you guys because Betty and I are in fact tackling our first ever Victorian high country trip. We're going to be hitting some tracks, doing some awesome camping. We're here with a great, great crew that I'll introduce you to very, very soon but Oh, I cannot wait. So I rocked into camp pretty late last night, but we are kicking off our trip here at Blaring Dam, which is absolutely beautiful. Awesome spot to wake up to. I've met up with the Mitz Aloe boys and we're gonna be heading from here and we're gonna be ending this episode in the Victorian high country. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot of awesome stuff between now and then, seeing some great spots, awesome must see locations. So I'm gonna bring you guys along like I always do on this little adventure and we're gonna see what we get up to. So let's go see the crew. So we do in fact have Az from Az Ventures <laughs> on this trip. Hello. Hello, in the big Mit 79. This thing's seen some things. We've got Bailey over here. G'day. First timer. Oh, first day. <laughs> first day on the job, this one. <laughs> Packing up his swag and he's going to be convoying in the big Mitz BT with Harry, which is it's around here somewhere getting the shots down there by the water yeah it should be absolutely unreal so we're going to make a coffee we've had a bit of brekkie we're going to pack up camp and then we're going to hit the road to our first stop so i'm excited let's get it wondering where is Tomo? Unfortunately Tommy Barnes couldn't come away with us on this trip. Um, we're going to be away for a total of like a week because not only are we doing our big high country scent but after this we are also heading to the national 4x4 show down in Melbourne so I am so excited but it's a little bit too much time um, to have off from work for him. Obviously you know running business is a full-time job so he had to stay back and hold down the fort. Someone's got to do it bless his heart so he will not be joining us on this trip. I know you guys will be very upset, but we are still gonna do our best to make the most of it. Um, but yeah, so like I said, we've hit the road. First stop for today, we are heading to some thermal pools in the mountains, which I forget the name of them, but I've seen them like on socials and, socials and things, and it looks unbloody real. So I'm really excited for that. And then we're heading to the, I think they're called the Yangabilly Caves. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, but we're heading to some cave systems to check those out, which should be unreal. And then we might hit some tracks, go find another camp at night. Should be unbloody real, so let's see what happens.
Where are we again? Yurangabilly. Yurangabilly. <laughs> oh, check out the South Glory Hole. <laughs> What it that's, said on the side. That's what Az is doing oh, anyway. Saying what it said on the side. <laughs> that's what Az. So we have in fact arrived. Uh, we're going to go check out some caves, some specky caves. And then I think the plan is to go check out the thermal pools and potentially go for a bit of a dip. Don't know if the boys are aware of this, but it's five degrees out. Oh, so it's 27 degrees in the pool. True, it is 27 degrees in the pool. So it's going to be cozy in there, but see how we go getting out. But um, that should be pretty, pretty nice from what I've seen. So... See how we go. Let's check it out. Go check it out. What do you reckon? Luke. Luke warm. <laughs> like it's still 27 degrees, but when you're thinking about the fact that it's literally like four degrees here outside, go as. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful? It's actually really nice. Righto, I'm coming in. cave systems were just stunning so highly highly recommend that you put that on your list guys if you're ever down this way because it was beautiful um, like I said back on the road we are now I think making our way towards camp which is a little bit of a drive um, so I'm not 100% sure actually where we're camping tonight so it's gonna be a bit of a surprise when we get there but when we do I'll chuck the cameras on I'll let you know how we're going if anything happens between now and then I will let you know but until then I'll see you when I'm looking at you
Oh my goodness. That was a long drive. It was. <laughs> I think we covered about, what, 300 k's? Something like that. Something like that, but we have in fact <laughs> arrived <laughs> at camp for the night, which is pretty cool because we're actually camping like on the Snowy River, which is awesome. So yeah, yeah. I'm pretty excited to go check that out, but we might set up camp first and then we'll have a bit of a geese and Absolutely. go from there. Yeah. Let's go. And crack a beer as well. <laughs> I could think of worse places to set up camp. I'm not gonna lie, this is bloody beautiful. Um, as you can see, like I said, we are all set up. And looks like As and I are on dinner duty tonight. So we are gonna be cooking up a mean feed. I think we're doing pasta, he said. I think we're doing pasta. So that should be good. But um, while I have the opportunity, I also want to tell you guys about a couple of fun new additions I've added to Betty. So, just to give you guys a little bit of a run through. First off, we have in fact changed out my steelies and hand cooked tires to toyo tires which i've had on for a little while now and we've also made the switch to heavy duty alloys from method race wheels and i'm not gonna lie guys i absolutely love the heavy duty alloys and so far the toyo tires have been absolutely incredible um, as well as that we've also added in a long range fuel tank from browns davis it's 130 liters which has been an absolute dream on this trip not gonna lie, it's been nice not having to think about filling up at every little town you stop in. So that's been a big bonus. Also, suspension wise, in the rear of the setup, we have changed out from our 500 kilo Leafs to 550 to 750 Terrain Tamer Parabolics, which have absolutely been incredible. I'm not gonna lie, like they are riding so much better. Obviously we do a lot of towing with the boat and the horse float and whatnot. So the Parabolics have been just amazing. Um, as well as that, we've also um, put new longer shocks in, which are remote resis. Um, they so far have been doing amazing. They're from Fox, made by Solve Off Road. So thank you guys, absolutely incredible. And also as well as that, I have officially teamed up with the amazing legends at Drifter. So as you guys know, I've been running my Drifter rooftop tent like for the past, what, two years now. You guys have heard me rave on about it. I absolutely love it. Well, we are now officially teamed up. I've got their new 270 heavy duty awning on with all the bells and whistles, such as, as you can see, the lights, little manhole to get up into the rooftop tent has been absolutely incredible. I do have a discount code for their Drifter Stockton website too. So I'm gonna drop that in the description. Go over, check out their gear. We've got their fire pit. Uh, their pizza oven like camp chairs all of their gear is absolutely incredible so i'm stoked to be working with such an unreal company and lucky last but definitely definitely not least uh this is i can't take credit for this one because this was actually a tom idea but we have installed an induction cooktop into our drawer in our canopy which i'm not gonna lie i was a bit iffy about it at first but it's been an absolute godsend it runs off our inverter we've added another battery in the back too now so we've, i think we've got 360 amps in the back of this thing now um, it's been incredible, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna be cooking pasta on this tonight. Should be awesome. I'm excited and hungry, so let's get it. Well guys, I'll give you a quick little spin on how the induction's going. I've got as on cooking duties for- <laughs> I may live, commandeered the induction. He has indeed commandeered the induction. It's uh, it's doing pretty well. Cranking. Cranking, absolutely cranking. So we're gonna make some dinner and then sit around the fire, have a bit of a chill night to get ready for our big day tomorrow in the big high country, which I'm so, so excited about. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'll see you guys in the morning.
morning guys I am very excited um, the crew and I hit the road pretty early this morning we had like a just before five o'clock start because we have a lot of ground to cover today and today is in fact the day that we are heading into the Victorian high country to tackle some tracks and I am so so excited um, we've got a lot to check out between like here and there like for example we want to go suss out McKillop's bridge which is meant to be absolutely stunning and kind of like the gateway to the Victorian high country so stoked about that we actually crossed into the state of Victoria at about 6 30 this morning uh, super super dark but it is starting to brighten out now and it is looking unreal it's going to be an amazing day I cannot wait to get it and bring you guys along and oh it's going to be good so let's hit it Historic McKillop's Bridge, hey? Bloody beautiful. Dargo Hotel we have made it like I've said my first time being here and I'm stoked it is such a cool little country pub and this kind of stuff is just kind of right up my alley so I am very very happy to be here it's been a bit of a long drive but it's just one of those places that if you're coming up this way it is a must see you've got to stop in and check it out we're about to go inside and have a bit of a look and then we're going to come out we're going to air down and then we're going to get ready to go and hit some tracks we're heading up to the infamous Billy Goats Bluff and we're going to find a camp up somewhere there tonight so i feel like it's going to be a bit of a sunset tracks and find camp it should be bloody unreal so i'm excited we'll go find the boys see what they're up to and uh get into it from there
sure what they say, Dargo Pub is an absolute pearler, but I am ready to hit some tracks. So we've come down a fair way, we're gonna air down and we're gonna get into it because we are racing against the sun going down right now. So let's get it. nothing. <laughs> in the sun a little bit but um so far it looks bloody beautiful so I am keen Pretty sick feeling when you get to pack up your car and come down and do stuff like this. We'll be back there, back there, Liv. All good, mate. Just crawling up. Sweet, sweet. Dmax looks like it's loving it. <laughs> yeah, rear locker helps, I reckon. Yeah, a little bit of extra pushing. <laughs> I've lost the front dash mat. Looks like we're getting up to a good viewing point. Let's check this out. Oh, have a go at that. Views up here are just incredible. Like, I can't compare them to anything that I've seen before, honestly, honestly like, oh. When people say, why are you like into four wheel drives? It's just a car. It's not just a car. It's literally the freedom to get out there and see places like this that not many people get to see. I love it.
Tell you what guys, this is definitely a first for me. Night wheeling <laughs> in the Vic High Country, trying to get to camp. This is red hot. Cheeky little wheel lift. How you doing? <laughs> this is wild. Well, what a bloody day, hey? A great day. That was, I reckon, one of the coolest things I've ever done. Yeah? Yeah, never been like nightfall driving or anything like that before. So, <laughs> yeah. All rolled but, into one. Yeah, and never never been to the Vic High Country, so kill two birds oh, with one stone. <laughs> Beauty. That's, one, that's a fun track. That is a very fun really track. It's, yeah, it's an like, iconic track of the high country, so mm. you got to do that. Yeah, the views were cool. awesome <laughs> and the track was a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed it. But we finally made it to camp. The yeah. fun did have to end eventually. So we're at camp now. We're going to set up for the night. We are absolutely we wrecked. We need some firewood. We need some firewood. We definitely need a fire. It's three degrees right now. Three degrees and dropping. So firewood, <laughs> couple of beers, bed. So I'm bloody buggered. Cheers Unreal, right. mate. Good day. <laughs> See you in the morning. guys it is pretty fresh this morning but we've woken up at a beautiful little campsite down here in the in the hills um there is in fact ice everywhere and i think when i went to bed it said it was about three degrees two degrees so i don't actually know what it got down to last night but harry's just checked and my water tank's frozen so she's cold but uh thank god for this 12 volt electric blanket it's actually one from Drifter that they sent out a while ago. And I was a little bit skeptical, but uh, thank God for it because I was so toasty up in here, even though my the outside of my rooftop tent's covered in ice. Bloody beautiful. Very, very warm, and I feel the cold, man. So that was unreal. So I'm going to get up now, have some brekkie, and then looks like it's a pretty nice day. So I think we're going to go check out a pretty cool lookout or some specky little views and see what we do from there. But... Oh, let's go. It's it's so cold outside. I don't want to get up. But I probably should. This is bacon cooking. Oh, okay.
it's incredible to come to places like this and you can just feel how rich in history they are like i reckon this hut's seen some things it's been through some seasons i know they've had the bushfires down here and you know they do such a good job looking after places like this and so they can stay standing for all the years to come but if you're ever down this way highly recommend checking out some of these spots because it is unbloody real <laughs> But I don't know. It's amazing down here. <laughs> it is amazing. It's one of Az's favourite places. Yeah. And obviously, like I said, it's my first time down here. And it's been an absolute ripper. Yeah, it's been a great trip. Unreal trip. Like, you know, just as you guys probably know, a lot of our trips that Tom and I do is more the touring side of things. I haven't had the opportunity or the chance to do this kind of wheeling before. So Test out Black Betty. Test out Black Betty. <laughs> you as did was, well. Thank you. Yeah. I was about to say, Az was a huge help. And um, yeah, just kind of finding the limits of your car, but in a fun way, really. So... I'm stoked, yeah, but uh, like I said, it is now time. Fun. Yeah, it was absolutely <laughs> unreal. Awesome camps. But it's now time for us to make our way to the Melbourne show, guys. So let's get it, I guess. See you down there. See you down there. <laughs> Hope you loved the episode, guys. If you did, I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.